Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have a review of another neat little racer. This is the Furry Bee F180 from Furry Bee, uh, competitor to uh, Ishin products that we're seeing out here. Uh, this is Gear or yeah, Gearbest uh, competition to Ishin products, uh, the Furry Bee products. Now the Furry Bee F180, as you can see here, is an X Quadcopter. I got the ready to fly version, by the way, that comes with a Fly Sky, an actual Fly Sky transmitter. But yes, we got it. A 180 size quadcopter uh, has 2300 kV motors, which means 2300 revolutions per volt, uh, not allowing extra high speed. But with that, we got a lot of power that's possible uh, to go to these motors, in that we have uh, BL Heli uh, 30 amp uh, ESCs with D shot, digital control of the ESCs in other words is possible. I don't know if it's got set up that way but um, it, those ESCs are D-Shot uh, from BL Heli capable. Uh, what are the things we got on here? We got a 700 TVL camera. We have a 40 channel FPV transmitter which transmits in both uh, 25 milliwatt or 200 milliwatt. You can set the power by holding down this button right here you got to hold it down for like 30 seconds and that'll change the power levels if you want to go with high power. I got mine set up to 200 milliwatt because I like to fly distant out here in the desert. Uh, we have Seriously Pro Racing F3 board on board here. Um, and with that in mind, since we also have a beeper uh, that comes with this. So, you know, if this gets lost or it gets low battery power, it should beep and, let, and warn you. And on the back of it, for night flying, it has very nice LEDs uh, for bright <laughs> night flying. Now I don't normally fly night flying, especially uh, racers, but uh, it has that capability. And it is all powered by this 11.1 uh, 3, .1 volt 3S battery, 1500 milliampere hour. Now what I like about it is um, other X, X wings that put the battery on the belly here normally have their battery exposed. <laughs> and that could be bad, especially if you make a hard landing. This one has the battery somewhat protected uh, with this cushion on the bottom here. But I am a little concerned about these uh, bolts on the bottom of the structure itself uh, protruding into the battery. So I put a little bit of uh, sticky tape in there to provide a little bit of extra cushioning. So uh, that's about the basics of it. Now the way it comes set up, it had clean flight 111.0 installed on there. I have not made any changes. We're going to fly this stock out of the box just the way it is to see if it truly is ready to fly. Now I'm going to start off with a, uh, we're going to fly in angle mode to start off with and for about a couple minutes and then I'm going to switch to uh, FPV and we'll fly an acro in FPV to see how it performs in FPV. So hope you enjoy this flight. Let's go give it a try here of the furry bee. Oh, one other thing <laughs> before we go into the flight. This is very important. <laughs> the way that this came, the, an the antennas for the receiver, here's your receiver down here, were bundled in, in one ugly mess in between this zip tie here. I pulled them out and then I used zip ties on top along with some um, shrink wrap to uh, expose those antennas and to provide better reception because that's just poor. I don't know why they did that. You know, bundling them. They just scrunched them in there. But uh, I brought out the antenna so hopefully to provide better uh, range on the quadcopter. Now let's go into that flight. Okay let's start this thing up. First off we're going to turn on the transmitter make sure all our switches are up and throttle is down and then we're going to plug in the quadcopter. Quadcopter's battery goes in like so. Make sure it's all the way up. And make sure I got the front pointing that way so I don't get confused. Looks like I got the front with tri blades, red tri blades to be the front. Okay, let's uh, arm the motors. And notice that the motors come in, go into a uh, idle at arming. Let's step back a bit, send it up. See how stable it is. Try that out first. Seems to be somewhat stable. I'm going to try a punch. Oh, that's a nice little punch. Bringing it back down. I'm going to try a run down the road. And coming back. Keeping the red props toward me. Yeah, it's a nice flyer. It's actually somewhat stable in angle mode. 
it's supposed to be. <laughs> okay, let's bring it down. Yeah, let's switch to acro. We're going to land it first. I want you to see it one more time. Let's get up close to it. Okay, we'll try to land it on the pad here. And there we go. Okay, and I'm going to disarm it. And we're going to go over and get ready for flight. Hope you enjoy the next part of this flight. Okay, I got my Furry B goggles, VR01 goggles. I actually kind of like these. They have a scanning capability, but they don't have recording capability. For recording, I'm going to be using my VRD2 goggles. It's set up right next to me. Okay, let's arm the motor and take off. Wait a minute, arming it that way and going to angle mode. We're in angle and let's take off. Or not angle, we're in acro, folks. I'm sorry. Oh, it makes the takeoff quite readily. Okay, I want to get a feel for it first in acro. Come across the desert. Picking up a little bit of speed. Let's see how it goes. It's actually somewhat. Uh, somewhat docile <laughs> with its stock settings the way it is right now. In fact, so docile, I'm kind of hesitant to actually try any rolls or flips. But that's good. I guess this is intended as a uh, intermediate uh, learn to fly uh, FPV quadcopter. And with that in mind, out of the box, I guess it would be very good for that. Kind of nice. Okay, I'm getting a little bit dizzy here. I'm trying to, yeah, I wouldn't try any flips and rolls with it with the settings it's got right right now. I'm actually I'm kind of hesitant. I guess others could do it, but I would be hesitant myself to do it because I don't have the skill <laughs> to recover should that uh, go haywire. Let's go up the road a bit. We'll go around the bushes, pretend they're uh, gates. Coming down this way, going over those bushes. Okay, I really should point up that camera quite a bit more. <laughs> Get some speed on this because I got the camera pointed uh, too far down, I guess, the way it is set up right now, but I'm sure it can go faster than this. Yeah, there we go. But I'm pointed all the way down and uh, let me see if I can change that camera. Hold on, folks. Let's see if I can land that. Can that camera be adjusted? <laughs> Hold on, folks. I'll come right back. Stay right here, hon. Okay, I pointed the camera up a bit. Let's see if that helps a bit and see if I can go a little bit faster here. Okay, I'm locking the blades. Just the other way. Going back to the air. I can tilt it a little farther for it and still see uh, ahead of me. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Now I can go low and fast, which I want to try. And going, coming around the bend here, find that other road. There's the other road. Do a zip down the road here in front of us. A little more. Oh. Yeah, actually, a nice quadcopter. Uh, again, the way I'm flying it right now, the way it's set up and it feels right now, it's more intended, I guess, for intermediates who want to learn to fly FPV. Um, it's not a beast, but again, then again, I'm not flying it with a 4S, I'm flying it with a 3S that comes with it. And with that in mind, it seems to be doing very well. I'm going down this road now. My wife's having, I'm giving her a headache probably. <laughs> let's, let's turn it around. Come back up the road in front of us. And coming back around again, going around the gates of the bushes. 
I tilt my head up like that's going to help <laughs> see better. <laughs> I guess I should push it up even more on that camera. But it's moving. It's a zippy little thing. Just not super zippy. What was I just flying that was pretty darn cool? Oh, the <laughs> I can mention it right now. It's a cutter. <laughs> okay. I've been giving my wife a headache. She just hit me. <laughs> okay, we're going to try to keep it around us. In front of us. We'll go up this uh, trail here that somebody left with their RV, or not RV, quad. A lot of people go quad riding out here through the desert and leave tracks out here that last for many, many years. Turn it. Let's see how fast we can turn this thing. Turn around this bush here. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Okay, she's getting weak. Oh. Look at that. That's it. I guess the battery's dead. I did not hear any beeping, unfortunately. So, the beeper on it, <laughs> the beeper did not beep. It has a beeper. Let's go find it. I just turned on the beeper. I forgot to mention I have the beeper switch set up. But the beeper did not beep during that flight. I don't know why. Um, so with, it does not have low battery warning set up. I guess you can go into clean flight and do that, do such. But uh, in the stock settings, it does not have uh, uh, low battery set up. So, oh no, yeah, again, uh, based on its flying ability, I would say this is more intended. Let me unplug that. I hope I didn't hurt that battery by flying it that long. But uh, more intended for intermediate flyers like me, uh, learning to fly. Uh, FPV Acro. Uh, this one is is another good one. You know, if you want to get in the 180 size, uh, this one's ready to go, ready to fly out of the box. So I hope you enjoyed that flight. This is Quadcopter 101 with the Southern Sierra Nevada Mountains covered in snow. <laughs> Siding out. <laughs>